Once upon a time, you were looking for how you could make your own DIY Facebook ad images or Facebook images that you could post on your fan page that looked professional and high quality, images that you were inspired to create in the moment, but because you don't know Photoshop, because you're not artistic, because you don't have all those fancy skills, you had no idea what to do. And then you found this video and we all lived happily ever after, the end. Hi there, James Wedmore here with jameswedmore.com. Now, even though I'm a big fan of outsourcing and getting people like graphic designers and people that are way more skilled than you and I to create our graphics, sometimes we just need to get in there and get it done. And if you're a big fan of Facebook and most, more specifically Facebook ads like me, well, then sometimes you just need to start making your own images. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a really cool tip and technique for making really good looking Facebook ad images that represent your brand well and convert like crazy. So let's get started. Oh, and here's the most important part, the most beautiful part, is that I'm gonna be using Keynote to do it. So whether you're in PowerPoint or Keynote, you're gonna find that this is an extremely easy way. In fact, if you can kind of see my screen right now, I make a ton of my Facebook ad images just here in Keynote. So here's how you wanna start. You wanna first of all, open up a Keynote document. That's easy, a new slide deck, start from fresh, create a blank white page, and then you're gonna create a square. Uh, so you would pull out a shape and just make it a transparent background just so you have a border. Now the dimensions we're going here for here is 1200 pixels by 628. Okay, so I can put this on here and I can go to a range and I can do 1200 by 628. The problem is, is when I do that is it's really big. And so what I do is I constrain the proportions on the right and I just drag it in so that I almost like it's what people see when they're actually on Facebook. Just that, that gives us a little bit more thing. Now this is our canvas. Whatever we're gonna create needs to fall within the parameters of this, these dimensions here. So that's very easy to start with. That's step one. That's really easy. Whatever you fill in there is up to you. But for a lot of us, a blank canvas is a world of problems. What do I put in there? What, how do I fill it? So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. What you're looking at right here are examples of either images that I've created or Facebook ad images that I've created um, using a very cool style that I, I really like and kind of stumbled upon and I think it works really well. So what I wanna do is recreate something like this. Okay, so it, it's, it's very, very easy. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find an image. Now it can be an image of you, it can be an image of um, your what you, what you do, something that symbolizes your industry, your brand, or what you stand for. Now here's a great example. This is a picture that I personally took of my business partner, Brandon Lucero. He's up on stage at one of our workshops. He had his arms up like he was doing a big explosion. I said, perfect, this is just an image I took on my iPhone, right? Really simple, the way you'd bring that into Keynote is just going to insert and choose, find that file, drag it in here. And I actually have it on top of our little canvas here. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna do control right, send to back. So now it's in the back. Um, so you can see our red line above it. And I'm gonna go over to the right and I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting this image and I select the image column and I do edit mask. And what I'm looking for is to trim it up with our red line. That way it doesn't have any overlapping and you can just drag it, play around with that a little bit yourself, okay? And then I just wanna clean that up right down here at the bottom. So that's pretty good. So that's our image, okay? So I could play with that. I could zoom it in more. I could zoom it out. I can move it around. Whatever I need to do, I'm not gonna go into that. I just made it simple here today. Then what I wanna do is I wanna select the image again. I wanna be on the image column and I'm gonna take the saturation and I'm gonna go all the way to the left. So it's a negative 100. That creates a black and white image. Then what you wanna do is you wanna drag a shape, a square, onto your canvas. And we wanna make this bigger than, than our canvas right here, okay? Then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it says fill, it just says color fill, okay? Right now it says white. So I wanna change it to any color that maybe, do you have a color that represents your brand? Uh, like let's say your big brand color is red. Okay, great, there's red. I wanna make sure that I have no border and no shadow on, so I've gotten rid of that. Then what we do is we just play with the opacity. I like to go to about a 50% opacity. I think that makes starts to make it look really awesome. Okay, so there you go, there it is with red. And then what I can do is I can come back here and say, well, I don't like that color, let's try the blue. Let's try a darker blue, right? 
And I think that's the one I actually chose. So then what I wanna do is once I'm, you know, still playing around with it more, I wanna match it up there, okay? But we're not done. Now we get to add a little bit of flair. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take one more shape. Okay, we're gonna bring that on here. We're gonna do, for the fill, we're gonna do um, no fill. Okay, we're gonna do a line border and we're gonna make this line white and we're just gonna make it two points. Now, I don't know why, but aesthetically, putting a border, an internal border around it starts to make this thing look kind of cool. And um, I can actually bring it in more. And what's what I love about uh, Keynote is that it helps you to like match everything up and make it even. Then what we wanna do is we wanna put some text on here. So I can just open up the text, and I know you can't see it, and I can say, learn how to make Facebook ad images. Okay, and I bring this on, I know you can't see this, so I'm gonna make, first thing I'm gonna do is make it white, and then I'm gonna make it like 50. And that's really too big, but we can of course make it two lines. I know I'm moving really fast, but they do call me the keynote master. And then um, there's there's the makings of our uh, of the first step of our of our Facebook ad image. And what what we can do from here is a lot of things. Uh, I can move the text around, maybe put it down here so you can still see Brandon. I can change the font type. Um, one of my favorite ones. Don't steal this. It's my font. Is Bebas New. And I really like that one. See how like a simple font change can make a world of difference. I'll make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, and then what you can do is you can change the line spacing. I can do that down here in spacing and boom. Okay, now here's the final step that we need to do. Now this, you might wanna add more. Maybe you wanna add an image. Like, let me, let me give you an example of something. Maybe you wanna pull in something like, boom, a rocket ship. And then you can have your rocket ship going through the page or something like that. Yes, we've done rocket ships before. Okay, um, you know, something like that. Um, but here, that's just a great example of a, of a preliminary style of image that you can use. You can, you can have your uh, logo or a button or something in there as well. But before we upload it, if we're gonna do paid ads, Here's a few things we need to do. First of all, a shortcut on the, the keyboard is Command Shift 4. That'll bring up our cursor, uh, crosshair cursor, cursor, and we wanna drag across and capture this image. That'll take a screenshot of the image. Now I have a folder on my desktop of all my screenshots, and that's a, you can Google how to, how to create a folder for putting all your screenshots in there, otherwise they just sit on your desktop. And there's our Facebook ad image. Um, I like it, I like the style, I like how it looks. Again, we can, um, look back at some of the other ones I've created, just like, um, oops, I moved this one over. How that looks, I think it's I think it's pretty fancy. So we have this image here. Uh, what we need to do now is this. From Google, you wanna type in the Facebook grid tool, okay? This is super, super duper important. And it's, for me, it's the third one down. It says grid image checker, okay? So it's, uh, I don't know if this is exactly, this is socialcontest.com check image. I don't think this is Facebook itself, but you can still use it. Uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna upload the photo that we created. So I can go into my screenshot folder. I'm gonna pick this image. I'm gonna bring it in here. And now you'll see uh, what, what we're doing is we can only have 20% of text and it'll show you right here. So we wanna click every uh, square that has text, two, three, four, five. Now, right there is 20%, but you can see that we're spilling over. And if we were to technically do this one, this one, and oops, that one, you'd see that now we're at 32% text. And so what you would have to do is go back and fix that, okay? So here's a little like, uh, you know, way that you can do that kind of quickly and easily. I go back to the five squares and then you can kind of just um, take a take a screen grab of what five squares kind of looks like. And you can actually, as you're pulling your um, crosshairs, you can see what those ex exact dimensions are and you can play with that a little bit, okay? So I would go in, make the lines and make the difference. Here's the biggest advice I can give to you on this call. You know, whether you want to make your images yourself or have someone else do them or make them look like this, maybe you don't like this style, I, I don't care. Um, but uploading your Facebook ad images 
this is for paid ads on Facebook. You want to do boosted posts, promoted posts, stuff like that. If they, um, they will check. And if you're putting up too much text, they penalize you and people have been getting their accounts shut down for this. So this is not something you want to ignore. That's not a step that says, oh, that's not for me. No, if you don't want your account shut down, you definitely want to do this. So there you go. That was my little tutorial, a little way of uh, for non-creatives to get creative in your business. While I got you here, I'm going to show you two other um, examples of ads that I did that I used a site called Swiftly. Um, Actually, I'm going to show you three ads. So there's a website called Swiftly where you can get graphics made for 19 bucks. I have an image of me from my GoPro, and um, this is me surfing. And for $19, I said, hey, I, can you get a laptop in my hand? I was not really surfing with a laptop, and he added it, and he had it done in less than an hour. Here's an example of an image where uh, he took an image and then he, he blended together. It, this is, you know, you saw something similar to this at the beginning of this video where he just blended a gray so I could put text here. And I've used this style for Facebook images. In fact, here's an example of one um, just like that. It looks very similar. And here's another example. I, had, I took a screenshot from one of the videos I was doing with, uh, with my good buddy, Brandon Lucero. And I put this video, this image on swiftly. And I just asked a, a gentleman to create a gold glow around our laptop to make it look like we've just found gold. And um, he did that in less than 30 minutes and brought it back. Now here's another way that we can use our opacity and do some really cool stuff. So I can take some text like, um, like, let's say this says the seven lessons I learned. I'll bring this up to 150. And I'll just kind of show you what we can do. I can put that down there at the bottom. And then what I can do is start to go over to style and I can bring the opacity in. And just lightening it a little bit is has a really cool effect. And we'll even try it as a, um, as a black and see if that if that looks cool too. Yeah, I think the white still stands out better. So we'll go back to that. So there you go, a fun little way that I'm using Keynote to make some of my Facebook ad images and making them really fast. And the thing is, is then I create just this swipe file. Uh, so I have different images to choose from and, and different text and I can make my images so fast now. So notice how I've taken the same image and used it multiple different times in different ways, um, just like this one and that one. So uh, this is all about making it more efficient, easy, quick and just get it out there, get it to look as good as possible. My name is James Wilmer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, make sure to do that right now. Press the subscribe button underneath this video. I got a tons of tutorials, tips, advice, strategies, fun stuff.